So you're talking about peace of the Lord. He's talking about the love of God. So if there is no peace in you, you don't have the attention of God. Having attention of God simply means you have the love of God. And as long as the love of God still exists in your life, you have peace. So God gives peace out of his love. In the Holy Book, in the book of Matthew, the Holy Book says, For God so loved the world. He loves you. He said that is why he sent you a Messiah. A Messiah simply means a redeemer. A redeemer simply means a comforter. A comforter simply means a master. You are going under the control of a master, meaning you are not alone. He did that out of love. That is why he gave you a peaceful leader that will be in charge of your life, that will direct you to the destination where you are heading to. And his name is Lord Jesus Christ. The Hebrew called him Yahushua HaMashiach. He's a master of peace. God gave us his son. And whosoever, listen, whosoever, then you make a decision. Whosoever, remember, God did that out of love. But the love of God is kind of two age sword. That's the love of God. You like it or you leave it. He said, whosoever that believe in my son, whosoever that believes in him shall be saved. Remember, for God so loved the world, he gave his son, he said, whosoever that believe in him shall be saved. Then whosoever does not believe in him shall be condemned. So you talk about peace, you talk about destruction. When you talk about peace, you talk about war. The opposite of peace is war. Whosoever Believing on him who followed him shall be saved. But whosoever does not believe on him, your life is 50 50. God always loves you in the sense that out of love we are all made. People are dying in sickness. People are dying in accidents. People are dying in all kinds of problems. It was not and it has never been the will of God that what he made what he had created like him we look like God, both male and female. We look like God that what he had made has been condemned and destroyed. God is not happy with that. In a family, God has made that family to generate generation of the lineage of God. But out of ignorance and out of brightness, family facing crisis, which was not the original agreement that God had made. But people made a decision without minding the will of God. People made a decision without minding the outcome of it. This world belongs to God. This series belongs to God. 
This house belongs to God. Everything you can talk of belongs to God. Because you came into life. And soon we can live this life. They will remain for God. Hello. So talking about peace is something you need to work out in your life, your own personal life. You know, sometimes in my own personal life, I used to talk to myself. Do it this way and see the outcome of faith. Do it in the other way and see the outcome of faith. Why do you so? You cannot examine people. And you find out that people make decisions out of selfish interest. You make a decision in the other way you can call it that you are frustrated. In any condition you find thyself, it is you that will control it. If you do not control the condition you find thyself, and you say that you are frustrated, that's why you do that. You are opposing God. You don't need his presence around you. You don't want him to always move with you. Because you think you are frustrated. That's why you cry and cry anyhow. But sometimes something that makes you cry, in the process of crying, ask yourself, what will be the outcome of this? I cried the other time. I cried again. I cried again. Think about your health. Can crying solve the problem? Be moved, you can it solve the problem. From in your faith that people will understand or attract the attention of people towards your own personal problem, can it solve the problem? But I find out the only thing that can solve my problem is when I step back for a moment. Give yourself peace. Of hearts stay on your own forget about how things is going to other people think how you started and the outcome the recent outcome then judge yourself and see your mistakes then correct it pick up the new life then you can see you start moving secondly when you are in problem stop Think in what people will say. Stop thinking what people will do. I was a pauper. Now I am rich. Tomorrow I can be a pauper. Next tomorrow I can be rich. Life is a turning point. But when you are in a high position, by temptation of God, yeah, God can tempt you. He can try you as he did to who? Job. He can test you to bring you down to see what you are going to do. Then when God trying to prove himself before you, you messed the whole relationship up. You messed it up. Because what people will say, that's why you're making mistake. What people you say, that's why you are selling yourself. That's why you sold your soul. What well, people will say, who are people? I was not created by people. Men of God, are you hearing me? I was not made by people. Thank you. I was created by God. And he has the final say of my life. So don't think what people will say. But think what God will do. And he is God of miracles. He is God of impossibility. He is God that can intervene when there is no hope. He will prove himself, say, I am the hope of the world. In a critical condition, he will remember and goes into action. People, are you hearing the word? Now, I'm going to take you to the Holy Book in the book of Isaiah, chapter 15, 7. Let's take it from verse 19 to 21. The book of Isaiah chapter 57 from verse 19 to 21. Glory be to God. This is a wonderful season that God has made. Hallelujah. The book of Isaiah 57 from verse 19. 
Are you there? I created the fruit of the leaves. Read with me. Peace, peace to him that is far off and to him that is near, says the Lord, and we heal him. Verse 20. But the wicked are like the troubled sea. When it cannot rest, whose water can cast mine and death? 21. There is no peace, says my God, to the wicked. Hallelujah. It's a peace is he that is far and near the righteous. But for the wicked, there shall not be peace. You are the cause of your heart crisis. Disobedient can keep you in the state of trouble. You are running when no one is chasing you because you refuse to be obedient. When Cain kills Abel, he was running. There was no peace found in him. And Abel has died and find peace in the bosom of the Moses. But this one is still alive. The world is yours. Enjoy it. You find it so difficult to enjoy the life. People you see outside, many of them are top officials, controversial figures, but there is no peace in your heart. Peace is a divine gift. Then you can open peace only when you are obedient and obediency is something you need to build up by yourself without looking at anybody or minding what people we say because when you want to do your own thing do your own thing forget about what they will say as I'm coming out this morning I decided to be like this in my ministry, I decided I'm going to be like this. I don't care what people are wearing. This is my kind of ways. Peace is something you need to build. It's divine.